हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय डिस्टेंस लर्निंग क्लास ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फोर मैथ्स आई होप यू ऑल वेल एंड हेल्दी सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी एडिंग मिक्स्ड फ्रैक्शंस व्हेन वी एड मिक्स्ड नंबर्स दैट हैव कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर्स वी फर्स्ट एड द फ्रैक्शंस एंड देन एड द वॉल नंबर्स एग्जाम्पल थर्टीन find the sum of 2 and 1 upon 7 and 1 and 2 upon 7 in this case we observe that the denominator of the two mixed fractions are the same first add the fractions 1 upon 7 plus 2 upon 7 is equal to 3 upon 7 you can see here 3 upon 7 now add the whole numbers whole number is 2 and 1 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so we get the answer is 3 and 3 upon 7 in case of mixed fractions with different denominators we add them as in the example below always remember to express the answer in the simplest form example 14 Find the sum of two and three upon eight and three and one upon four. You can see here there is different denominator eight and four. In this case, we observe that the denominators of the two mixed fractions are different. So first, add the fractions by finding their LCM. Three upon eight plus one upon four. LCM of eight and four is equal to eight. Now, three upon eight into one upon one is equal to three upon eight, and one upon four into two upon two is equal to two upon eight. So now we have same denominator eight and eight. Thus, three upon eight plus two upon eight is equal to five upon eight. Now add the whole numbers. Whole number is two and three, so two plus three is equal to five. So we get the answer five and five upon eight. There is another way to find the addition of mixed fractions. Step one: convert them into improper fractions. Then step two: take the LCM of the denominators. Now step three. add the numerators together this method is called regrouping let's see next page example 15 add 2 and 3 upon 8 and 3 and 1 upon 4 so first of all we will con convert in improper fraction so now we get 19 upon 8 plus 13 upon 4 Now, LCM of eight and four is equal to eight. So nineteen upon eight into one and one, one upon one, is equal to nineteen upon eight. Now, thirteen upon four into two upon two. So now we have twenty six upon eight. Now we have same denominator. Thus. Nineteen upon eight plus twenty-six upon eight is equal to forty-five upon eight. We can write the improper fraction forty-five upon eight as a mixed fraction five and five upon eight. How you can do like this forty-five upon eight eight five zero forty. Forty-five minus forty is equal to five. So now we have quotient here, remainder here, and denominator here. Now let's see exercise six point seven. Question A: Add the following mixed fractions. Let's see in the notebook. Exercise six point seven. Question A: Add the following mixed fractions. Number one. Two and one upon three and three and one upon three. So first of all, we will add these fractions. One upon three plus one upon three is equal to two upon three. 
now we will add the whole number so whole number is 2 and 3 so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so now we have 5 and fraction 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 so this is our answer in the same way number 2 One and two upon nine and four and five upon nine. So first of all, we will add fractions. These fractions, two upon nine plus five upon nine. So now we have seven upon nine. Now we will add the whole numbers. One plus four. One plus four is equal to five. So we get five and seven upon nine. This is our answer. In the same way, number three, six and five upon eight and five and two upon eight. Let's see answer. Five upon eight plus two upon eight is equal to seven upon eight. Now we will add the whole number. Six plus five is equal to eleven. So we get the answer eleven and seven upon eight. In the same way. Number four, number five, and number six. You have to practice yourself. It's very easy. Otherwise, you can see answer here. Answer six. Ah, uh, one upon four plus one upon four. One upon four is equal to one plus one. Two upon four. Now we will add whole numbers. Whole number means one. Plus three. One plus three is equal to four. So now we have answer four and one two upon four. This is our answer of six. So students, here we are going to complete today's work. we will meet in next video till then keep learning keep growing